A Jacksonville family says prison guards beat and killed their loved one in 2018, and they're going to dig up his body to prove it. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Chandler Morgan in Fort Tanika. The family of Timothy Thomas got a judge to allow them to exhume his body. It's set to happen tomorrow. They hope it will show more about how he died on Easter Sunday in 2018. Action News Jackson Nick Gibson is live from the North Bank. And Nick, you spoke with our law and safety expert who says proving these claims could be tough. Yeah, because you told me that the evidence that was once there is now gone since Thomas was buried. The effort now is to determine the manner of death. Timothy Thomas died in a Lake Butler prison Easter Sunday of 2018. And according to his family's attorney, Robert Slama, it was due to the actions of a corrections officer. In a lawsuit filed in April of 2022, Slama accuses guards of brutally beating Thomas. While at breakfast, Thomas was pulled out of line for religious headwear he was wearing. According to the lawsuit, corrections officers beat Thomas and gassed him before he was eventually placed in a cell with another inmate. Thomas died hours later. Slama also told us the medical examiner changed Thomas's cause of death from a homicide to undetermined death. And state attorney Brian Kramer declined to pursue any charges against the Florida Department of Corrections guards. Action News Jack's law and safety expert, Dale Carson, with decades of law enforcement experience says, the cause of death of Thomas could be determined within days. If the manner of death indicates that he was injured, particularly by Department of Corrections personnel during the time that he was in their care and custody. Carson asked this new medical examiner will play a key role in this case. Perhaps today they'll use a MRI, uh, magnetic resolution, or they could simply use an X-ray. Now, the family of Thomas is expected to hold a press conference tomorrow. And of course, Action News Jax will be there in attendance for local coverage you can count on. Reporting from Jacksonville, Nick Gibson, Action News Jax.